let's see how to set up a virtual machine in Amazon. So um, this will be the third episode um, of our series of three, where we have previously set up um, service in uh, Azure, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud. So now we will try to uh, do the same in Amazon Web Services. And we have compared everything. So, um, yes, uh, I just wanted to show the Microsoft Azure uh, offers that you can start 30 days, $200 in credits, or you can use it free for 12 months. And this offer is very similar to um, Amazon offer. You, you have this 750 hours of a specific uh, virtual machine. And we can see this one is one core, one gigabyte of memory and four uh, gigabyte of temporary storage. It is more or less the same as Amazon. Uh, when it comes to Google, you have 90 days, $300 free trial. So uh, that's kind of nice offer. And you have this free tier and the free tier is very similar to Amazon and Azure free here uh, virtual machines as well so um, the only difference here is that in Google you are limited to certain regions uh, to run it in so this 12 month free uh, it is very tricky because uh, you have this limited server to set up I mean you have one gigabyte server it's very low very low memory server that you can uh, uh, run uh, t2.micro, t3micro. Um, that is the one. Let's register on Amazon and see how things work here. So let's create a free account on Amazon. So um, you, ne you need an email address. And you need an Amazon account name, so it's actually nothing different from um, previous web services, uh, Google and Azure. You need to uh, provide contact information and then you need to uh, provide the credit card information as well. So, and uh, when you're done, you logged on for the first time you can see the dashboard uh, Amazon dashboard and the first thing you should change is up to the right uh, that is your location actually um, so you should choose the one closest to you um, yep and that's uh, from there on you can uh, continue to uh, services up here so let's go and see on the compute and ec2 which is the virtual um, machines that we can build so uh, in amazon you choose to launch an instance let's do it um, let's name this one minecraft Minecraft server, something like that. It's okay. Uh, we need to choose the operating system. I will go with Debian, t3.micro. It has a storage of eight gigabyte. And uh, I think the memory is one gigabyte as well. Yeah, you can see here <coughs> the t t3micro two virtual CPUs that's good enough uh, but you only have one gigabyte memory that's an issue actually so um, that's bad but uh, uh, we can't do much about that right now so um, just want to see how to set things up if you want a more powerful thing you can choose whatever you like in here of course it's it's getting uh, expensive if you do that. 
So um, I stick with my T3 micro and I create a new key pair. Uh, and that will be for my remote management of the server. Yes, keys like that. And I will use the putty, create key pair. Uh, okay, it's downloaded there. It's okay. Uh, network settings. It will create a security group. Uh, allow SSH traffic from internet. Storage, 8 gigabyte. We can, we can add a new volume um, directly from here. So let's do that. 20, I would say. Right, uh, we can have up to 30 gigabyte uh, without paying much. And I want that one to be deleted together with the, uh, when I remove the, um, the virtual machine. So let's see, delete on termination. Yes, I want that one. When we are done with all these settings, um, just click launch instance. Here it is uh, running. So yeah, of course, uh, this one was created in EU North just because I had configured my um, location up here. So you can configure your location. Uh, where you are to get closest to yourself. So how do we connect to our virtual machine? Well, um, we have the private uh, SSH key pair here. Um, yeah, so I will use Putty to connect to, um, to Amazon. So let's get the public IP, this one. Copy that one, <clears throat> paste, and we have the connection. We have the auth credentials, and we have the um, keeper here. So, and one thing interesting though is. Um, Let's connect. So we need to um, accept uh, Amazon's, uh, the public key from, from them. So yeah, accept. And login as, that's interesting. Login as admin, it works. Yeah. So now we are logged on. Uh, that's great. But one thing though, uh, if you see I write this L and number one. I mean, it's nearly impossible to see the differences between the letter L and the number one. So, um, so let's um, change that one actually. Uh, settings, we have appearance. Yeah, change the color. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, apply. So now this is number one and this is the letter L. So now we can see the difference uh, between those. So uh, yeah, that's good. Anyway, um, this is a new Linux Debian um, server. Uh, this one has actually most of the packages installed. So. For example, this one, we have um, our 20 gigabyte disk up there. The name for it is, uh, yeah, it's this name that we have there. So, uh, yeah, that name, but we will, will not do anything about that right now because we will start with um, updating things 
Let's do that. Update. <clears throat> like that. And do an upgrade as well. Okay. <clears throat> so when we have um, ran the upgrade, it's time to... Um, let's clear this one. So, so it's up here, but uh, we don't have any partitions on that one um, yet so let's jump into the partition uh, command for that ah let's see like that okay uh, yeah we can see here we don't have any partitions in the partitions table so let's create a new one uh, go for the primary that and just write it uh, when done but we need to um, to format format uh, uh, so we need to format it with uh, this command and we should have can copy it there. So here it is, right? Oh, let's, let's have this one like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should do it. So now we have formatted our partition. So let's make a folder. Uh, where we can mount it. Let's make it as uh, data. Guess that's uh, good enough. And let's have a look. Um, what do we have here? Yeah, we can mount it. Uh, let's start mounting it. So uh, we have it mounted. <clears throat> so we have this so it should be this one there right okay and let's mount it there okay so now it is mounted and if we run this command again, we can see uh, it gives us uh, the information, uh, especially this one that we need. Let's save the um, UUID until later use because I need it later on. Um, let's save it um, in a text file. So when we are mounting it in the uh, in the file, the file system table file, it should be something like that, right? So let's clear again. Um, so we have the disk mounted, and now we need to edit our file system tab file. Okay. So let's start by uh, taking a, a backup. Of the existing one, uh, we should copy it uh, to the same folder, just like that, right? Yeah. So now I have this uh, backup. We can uh, have a look here. Um, yeah, we can say that and that. So that's great. Cool. So. Um, edit that file now we should be with our user UUID uh, oops didn't come in there ah there we have it and um, we have the mounting point data and um, 
There we have file system type ext4 and we just run with the defaults, right? That's good enough. Yes. Cool. So now we are done with the, with the disk. And that's great. Let's continue. Uh, go to our new disk and uh, make a new folder for the Minecraft. And I know we need to download the Java, uh, Oracle Java, uh, because there is some issue with the default version of Java in Linux and Minecraft. So it doesn't start with that version. Uh, so I need to go and get an older version to get it to run. So yeah, I do a Java folder as well. Okay, let's download. Java, uh, sorry, uh, Minecraft. So I need to get the path. Uh, we have it here, right? So I copy, copy the link. Um, <clears throat> to download it here, like that. Okay, good. And let's do the same with the Java. We have we have uh, Java 17 That's, that works. And I download this one. Copy the link for that. Okay, like that. Cool. Yeah, download it, great. Let's unpack it. And the file name, JDK. Yeah, so I just unpack it here. You can see it's in the folder JDK 1705. Let's go down to that one. Um, see here uh, yeah you have the bin underneath so the complete path for um, for Java would be um, um, you have the data Java and um, let's see where am I the JDK JDK 17, zero, 5, and so that's the complete path to, to the Java binary that we should use in this uh, Minecraft command that we should use. And um, so let's see. Is. Uh, of course, the jar is called server.jar, like that. And one thing more, uh, we are running um, this T3 micro thing now, so uh, that has one gigabyte, one gigabyte of memory. So we need to lower this actually. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's try 512. Um, I know it's not much, but uh, let's try that. So I will copy that and I will, I will go to, to Minecraft and I will I will create this start shell script and just paste the command like that. Uh, yeah, so I save this one. 
like that. Um, so I need to change um, uh, permissions for the executable. So it can be run. Okay. Yeah, now we can see. So that means actually that we are ready to launch the Minecraft server. So let's do it. Interesting to see uh, if it starts right away. Uh, ah, okay. Ah, there is an issue with that one, of course. I forgot. Java, uh, JD code Java, and then I think it should be like that, right? Bin, something like that. So, okay, let's try again. Yeah, now it works. Um, of course, it will stop um, because we need to accept the oil. We have the oil of text, so let's uh, do that one. Uh, oil. Change it to true. Yeah. Okay. Let's clear up things here. So. Um, so now we have the oil. Let's. Let's do the server properties while we are here. I think that will be good. Yes, so we will set um, number of users, lower it to five, and also change message of the day to like my uh, Amazon Web Services, Minecraft, Java Server, something like that, right? Okay. Now let's start it. Uh, uh, I'm not sure it will launch actually because there is an issue with the memory, but we'll see. Uh, let it boot up. The Minecraft server has started. It's up and running, even though it is uh, it is very low memory settings for that one. Um, one thing we haven't done yet is to uh, configure the firewall. So here we have the uh, the public IP. So I just copy it and let's run this um, telnet uh, just to see. Um, we can't connect to it now. Uh, it will time out here. So we need to go to our security. Let, we're just gonna let this one time out, I guess. Okay, now, so let's um, go in here. So we have the default uh, for Amazon, and that is not the one that we are going to uh, change. Let's go into this one. And uh, we have uh, only one rule. We allow SSH from internet. So uh, let's add, um, let's add, uh, Minecraft 25565 for the Java version and let's have internet let's uh, call it Minecraft uh, Java say rules so now uh, let's try it again this one yeah now it works great. Um, 
so kind of interesting so now we just launch our uh, minecraft client so i'm launching uh, the minecraft client so we'll see if we can connect i need of course i need the ip address uh, first so um, let's go and get that one maybe it was in my in my clipboard already let's see multiplayer so um, guess we should add server here so this one should be called something like uh, Amazon Web Service uh, Minecraft Java Server something like that paste the IP address and done cool let's try joining that one I mean, it works. Uh, that was tough. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. It works. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's kill ourselves here. Oh, we are going to die. Help us. Oh. Oh, yeah. My hearts disappear. Oh. Yeah. So, I quit. So, uh, funny thing you can see, I have actually my Google Minecraft server up and running, and I have my Azure Minecraft. And um, yeah, you can see the message of the days configured in the server properties file uh, for all of these, and it's limited to five players, all of them. So, um, yeah, they all work. That's great. I guess this will end the series that I had uh, about uh, creating a gaming server on uh, on these cloud services, uh, the Amazon, Google, and Azure. Hopefully, you have picked up something uh, from my videos that I have presented. Uh, so I just thank you for watching.